All right, you guys, so this is the prototype. And um, again, it's a prototype, so it's kind of ugly. But it will be changed. That battery will be replaced with something smaller because I like how it's round, but it will not do for this. And as you can see, you can put cartridges into here, which will be on top of this board going into there. Um, let me show you guys this. I should have just done that to begin with. Oh. Anyways, so that's the cartridge, and I can put the cartridge in and out of here. It locks right in. See? Turns the green lights on. However, the lights, green lights, aren't coming on as I had programmed. They're supposed to come on one at a time when they do come on, but that is not the case here. And you've got this button that actually activates on and off the web shooter, which I'm deciding not to go with because it causes too many issues. It uses a soft latching um, IC chip to do that. Oh, now it's malfunctioning again. So it's switching between trigger mode, I mean um, firing mode and uh, haptic mode, which would be the vibration mode, which can pick up any free wireless flowing IR signals from anywhere. Even your TV remote could activate this thing and cause it to uh, vibrate on your wrist. So if you're walking down the street and somebody just happens to use a TV remote, you could pretend, oh, hey, cool, my spider sense, you know, because this thing starts to vibrate if you, you know, go by the house and someone's got a TV remote on because it connects to infrared signals. So, but enough of that. Now, here. There. Jeez. But this is one, my first prototype. I'm going to be coming out with uh, one that's not going to be malfunctioning. because I went all out on this too much. So I've deducted some features. Um, but it won't take away, you know, the coolness of the device when you guys buy it. And I'm still going to try to get the clock in here. I was uh, thinking about, instead of doing a binary clock, doing a digital one somehow. But, yeah. So you guys kind of get the concept sensitive touch diode that's connected to a, um, uh, what is it, 2N7002 or whatever, transistor, I mean MOSFET, so it's uh, touch sensitive, and, you know, we got AT Tiny, <clears throat> no, AT Mega, uh, 320PAU, and then you got the AT Tiny chip in here, which would do the clock, so, but my next video is going to be a cartridge one, and uh, I'm kind of not happy about this um, so I've simplified it more and it shouldn't have any problems after that but this was you know I'll put the cartridge in one more time my first one I ever activated see the sound is supposed to turn on when it turns on not when it turns off now it's doing that so but yep that's that that's the prototype but the next video I'm gonna be doing is gonna be about the cartridges um, I'm not telling what I'm firing I kinda of wanna keep that you know whatever instead of ruining the surprise for you guys cuz you know it's what keeps you you know interested you know what's gonna happen next you know um, but okay we've had enough of you okay uh, well I'm gonna have to do something there. All right, we'll just do that. Okay. But anyways, the next video is going to be about the cartridges, and they will be using these. Um, these are MOSFET um, uh, footprints, and these are diode footprints, and it's going to create an electrical arc. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to get a mere idea of the next web shooter here, so or what it's supposed to be. So, All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.